He's Mr. T, man. I know. He paid the fool. I'm a bust a rap and break your mics. <laughs> Don't need no dope. Bust a rap and break your Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The TCS Network brings to you the Charity Strike. And now, here are the boys that put the big D back into douchebag. Trigger Mike, Midlife Crisis, and Rebound. Oh, yeah. Got that right, bitch. Big D all around for everybody. Mike's remixing the shit up. Welcome in the show, everybody. <laughs> the fuck? Right, Rebound Jones. Uh, sitting here on the Charity Strike. With uh, the gayest remix ever. Mm-hmm. Trigger Mike. I've got the rhythm. Yeah, that's right. And it's right. Monday Mike Raw. Monday Mike Raw. Do you have Tourette's? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Piss in my ass. <laughs> Sit next to him. That's, of course, Midlife Crisis. What's up, bitches? Mm. Drink myself a little beer. I've got a good show for you guys today. Let's be honest. Basketball news is going to be a little lack mm-hmm. in the excite. Yeah. Still better than baseball. But football is back. Oh, yeah. Fuckers. Oh, yeah. Preseason. Pre- I'll take whatever. And most importantly, we have a full house tonight. Danny Tanner style. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what it is. Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Too quick. You know what it is. Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. Okay. Laker Van Dan, everybody. What's going on, guys? Triumphant return. Yes, I'm to back. The TCS Studios. Yep. Finally. That's how I roll. Let's take, a, let's take a week off. I don't know. That's our what? I was like, that's how I roll. I was like, wait, how do I roll? <laughs> <laughs> well, he just said it until his last nut on the song, so that's how you roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's oh, wow. true. Until his last nut. Wow. That's, uh, that's how I blow. That's how Mr. <laughs> T rolls. Yeah, he beat a fool. <laughs> Listen to Mr. T. Uh, no dope, dope, no hope. <laughs> Come on, everybody. That's right. All right, let's, uh, God, I hate to put it this way because, you know, who doesn't like basketball? I love basketball, but uh, it's the worst worst piece of news today, so uh, let's get it over with. Love basketball, you love basketball, and say yeah. Yeah. I love basketball, you love basketball. Mandy in the chat room, and you guys can listen live and chat on Mondays at 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Mixler, M-I-X-L-R.com slash Jayshark. Is asking Laker fan Dan, this might be a question for midlife, uh, but uh, one of you answer. Was there ever a Laker named Dwayne Champion? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Dwayne Champion. Not that I remember. Sounds like a porno name. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a porno I don't know. Name. Yeah. Dropping loads. Some guy. Uh, That'd be a really obscure dude, though. Some guy doing a porn in a Laker jersey. <laughs> That's what that was. The best thing that happened to a Laker jersey in the last few years. <laughs> yeah. Finally, someone down the Laker scored. Yeah, it's yeah. funny because I can remember like Sean Rooks, Dwayne Champion, huh? Like I can remember yeah. like you know when Corey so. Blunt was a Laker, smoking those blunts. Yeah, uh, remember uh, what was it? Uh, Harvey, that dude was in the dunk contest in like '94. <laughs> it's like all these <laughs> guys, Antonio Harvey, like all these dudes. Oh like, yeah, yeah, Trevor Ruff, Trevor Ruffin, all these dudes. But I can't remember Dwayne Champion. I don't know. It's a good one. He must have been a good player then. I googled <laughs> it. I don't see a Dwayne Champion Laker anywhere. Well, you have to spell Dwayne like eight different ways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is a Dwayne, not a champion, on the Heat. I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like D-U-A-N-E for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, there was, I couldn't Google too much. I'm trying to put a show together here. But there mm-hmm. was a, a Dwayne champion that was associated with basketball, but I couldn't find any Laker references to him. Hmm. There's a guy on LinkedIn named Dwayne. Saw champion. that guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's black. He could be the right guy. There you go. <laughs> Automatically, oh, two man. points up on basketball. Burp. Uh, anyways, good question. We don't know. Yeah, perfect just, time to ask. I'm gonna like pretend that I too. know. There's like yeah. nothing going on. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, he worked for Finkelstein and Partners, but never the Lakers. Oh, he's never not black. So I'll say no. Yeah, because I'm gonna pretend I know. Yeah, so, sounds, sounds smart. Yeah. Um, all right, so let's talk about the news at hand. <laughs> Nike will not match Harden's contract for two hundred million dollars offered by Adidas. Damn. But Dwayne Champion will take it. He'll sure take it. Yeah. <laughs> He'll jump right on that Nike bandwagon. He's a yeah, champion. He, he is. <laughs> Automatically. 
What does that say about uh, Nike not matching the deal, though? That Harden's not like, as good yeah, as he likes. we don't need you. Yeah, he's not yeah. as good as he likes to say he is. He's like, you're, they're like, you're not the MVP. You're only the player's MVP. Yeah, so fuck yeah. Off. that's right. true. That's like saying you're a comedian's comedian. Yeah. Oh, so you're not funny? So you don't <laughs> make, so you don't make right. money? It's yeah. true. I mean, it's not like Nike's like worried about money. I think if oh. they, they figure either he's worth it or he's not. And they're like, eh, fuck you. Yeah, man. okay. Well, yeah. that, it was probably the 13 years they didn't want to match. They're like, eh, eh, you may suck after five, and we don't want to have to deal was with Was that it. what it was for? Wait, 13, 13 years, $200 million. Dollars. Correct. No, I'd say wow. about like five or six is his like, ceiling at this point. Oh, no, yeah. like 13. You trip over that be beard, break an ankle. <laughs> oh, yeah. God, yeah. He's not Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> I'd sign Dwayne Champion, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I think Dwayne Champion's the one that killed Chick Hearn. <laughs> oh, too soon. Yeah, Damn sorry, it. chick. That joke's the refrigerator. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so, are, if uh, he's like the player's player and the the comedian's comedian and all that stuff, <laughs> are we the podcast podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Shit. <laughs> I hear from everyone that we're funny, and then I never see them listen. So. Right. <laughs> never never see those numbers reflect on the download. <laughs> like they Man. listen. Yeah. No, no, you're funny though. You guys are really funny. <laughs> you guys yeah. are great. You're Asking me to right. listen to you. Yeah, <laughs> I heard you guys are good. Yeah, I heard great things. <laughs> All right, we must be the podcast. <laughs> podcast. It's hard to say. Uh, the Mavericks signed uh, the center, center, <laughs> <laughs> Javale McGee. Oh man. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say uh, Roy Hibbert's the center, center. Slow, slow, Roy. slow oh, God. Slowest slow center in the league. What was it? Uh, what else? Not just slow, Roy. What else did they say about him? On the soundboard. Slow Roy? I don't just slow Roy. I don't, I don't remember. D'Angelo's no. going to run him ragged. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. No Charisma. Oh, yeah. Jim <laughs> Buzz. So true. <laughs> Bad at meetings. <laughs> Trevor in the chat room's going to love this. Uh, what else? LeBron announces his uh, I Promise program. It's I Promise to not be a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Yeah, failed. He promises to what? Yeah, uh, put kids through school. It's a program. Thousands. Program college. for Akron kids that are uh, not just any kids. You got to be poor and ghetto and have oh. one parent and that kind of shit. You a former to, LeBron. Yeah. You have to be a little mini LeBron. Yeah. So you can, and if you do all the things he says you got to do, uh, he'll put you through college. You know, they go to college and learn how to make drugs and stuff. Yeah, like <laughs> say nope to dope because there's no hope with dope. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sucker. And a little bit of this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We didn't elaborate. The, the Johnny. Mavericks with the three centers they have now kind of mm-hmm. equal what DeAndre Jordan would have brought to the team. So <laughs> Still they're paying quite. for three players yeah. as the, oh, instead man. of one. Right yeah. Now. Do they need a slower one? Yeah. <laughs> JaVale, JaVale's a very serviceable center. He At is. one point he and was. And you serviced him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very serviceable. Very serviceable. <laughs> oh, my God. JaVale can be either really good or really bad. It's true. He's just like not consistent. He's got streaks of both. Yeah. 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 But his really good is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And his really bad is really <laughs> bad. It's like Roy Hibbert. <laughs> Slowest <laughs> center in the league. Burp. Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Burped, burp. Yeah. <laughs> You've never heard of that before? <laughs> I've time. never heard it so clear. Oh. <laughs> the fuzz is not blocking him. Yeah, yeah. It's crystal. <laughs> crystal clear. Uh, Markeef, Markeef Morris. <laughs> Some jabroni on the Suns oh, yeah. has, de- has demanded a trade. Yeah, really. oh. I would too if I was on the Suns. Moving on. Speaking <laughs> of the 76, uh, has demanded a trade after the Suns traded his twin, Marcus. Yep. He said it was a sign of disrespect. Yeah. That's right. Enough is enough and it's time for a trade. That's right. <laughs> Keep the family together. Come yeah. on. Yeah. He said that they took less money to stay with Phoenix if they stayed together. You have to pay me so much money to go to Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not worth it. They're brothers. His brother's so like, hey, shut up. They're and they're colored. I know. What are they, like Siamese twins that can't be parted or what? <laughs> right. What the hell's going on Except here? Except for their rookie season. That, was, up, fi- that was fine, yeah. but no longer. And yeah. now they're not going to be in the same team if uh, yeah. Markeef gets his way. Markeef should take it as a sign of pride that they traded <laughs> Marcus instead <laughs> of him. He's like, I'm obviously the better twin. Yeah. No, he said he felt disrespected. I and know. I would, too, if they got rid of my brother. I'd be like, why didn't you trade me? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's not fair. You're never yeah, going to win a title. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd they trade him to again? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Anywhere but Phoenix. Some, somewhere better. <laughs> yeah. Upgrade. Oh, man. Uh, what else? Bad news for the 76ers. Joel Embed, the guy we've been talking about with the foot injury. Well, apparently his foot injury is not covered by their insurance policy wow. <laughs> because it was pre-existing when they picked him up in the draft mm, last nice. year. Uh, so they will have to <laughs> forfeit, to, not forfeit, but they'll have to fork up the entire amount of his contract. Damn. They would have gotten $5.6 million back, 
and now they get nothing. I love it because wow. 76ers are all about saving money. And yeah. They finally mm-hmm. shot themselves in the foot, pun intended. Luckily, they have uh, $7 tickets. They'll be making that money back <laughs> yeah. in that time. <laughs> yeah. Yep. See, that, 15 minutes and they could have gotten him Geico or something. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah. They just saw how good Okafer is doing, and they're like, uh, I don't think we need you after all. <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I heard they called Bynum so he could come back. Oh, my God. <laughs> he did a lot for him, too. <laughs> Uh, T Wolves coach Flip Saunders announces he has a Hodgkin lymphoma. Bad news for the T Wolves. Oh man, yeah, lots of lymphoma going on. We'll get to another lymphoma. What's up with that? Yeah, it's getting around. Yeah, I don't know. It must be something in the water. So Maybe they're eating all those GMOs and something. all that other stupid oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's contagious. Yeah. Through anal sex. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's fucked. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> I'm gonna move away from him. Yeah. Uh, just in case. <laughs> Watch out, it's poisonous. <laughs> Uh, I, only, I only give it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not from my experience. You are a giver. Uh, and finally, Globetrotters are dropping the Washington Generals as their uh, big opponent. Were they picking Wait. up the Lakers? <laughs> 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 Had to guarantee that win. The Generals were getting too good. Oh God, man. I just understand where this is going to lead. Like, everybody, it's Globetrotters and Generals. Now it's Globetrotters and who? Right. Like, you have to now remarket yourself. The shit kickers. It's dumb. <laughs> you went from not having to market yourself at all because you knew what you were getting with the Globetrotters and Generals. Now you have to figure out something new. It's, yeah. it's stupid. Well, the thing I was reading, like, oh, the you know Generals beat them a total of three times throughout history, blah, blah, blah. I always thought that this was playing at the Globetrotters. I thought it was like wrestling, a basketball. Yeah. I didn't know I that they so were too. actually playing. They're using fucking ladders out there. I mean, <laughs> yeah. how do they lose? <laughs> yeah, if I was on the Generals, I'd be, you know, knocking them off their ladder. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Seriously. Yeah. They got one of those white guys that didn't want to lose. He's like, I'm going to go out there and play, guys. <laughs> yeah. The gym rat. Yeah. <laughs> Weekend chat, warrior. The chat room wants the Trotters versus Hulk's uh, N-words. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to see what he said, join the chat. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Mixler.com slash the charity strike. That's not a teaser, racist. Right. And, oh, yeah. That's definitely a teaser. <laughs> I'm not a racist. No, but the chat room is. <laughs> um, uh, here we go. What's up, nigga? Oh, oh damn man. Hulk. Hulk. Come on, buddy. He's just calling his team together. <laughs> yeah, apparently. <laughs> gotta, gotta go uh, play the trotters. <laughs> Sterling's hey, team. Hey, yeah. Hey, everybody. What's up, nigga? <laughs> Hulk, too much. I'm coming for you. you oh. No, Man. no. Oh Hulk, I thought we'd clean this up. <laughs> that one's so dirty. thought we had cleaned this up. That one had the R and everything yeah. in it. Nigga. Mm. Nigga. Nigga. <laughs> Hulk with the remix. All right, we got to move on. We have uh, lots of baseball to talk today. Ha ha, Manny in the chat room. <laughs> There's lots of teams throughout this land, but I'm proud to be a Cubby fan. Believe me, 84 was just the start. We're going to bring a pattern to this part. Hey, I'm a Cub fan. He's a Cub fan. And I'm a Bud man. He's a Bud man. Holy cow. We'll win the series before we through. Cub fans are... Oh, man. This one is for Harry Carey himself. That's right. Him <laughs> liking all those butts. That's right. He's a butt man. He's like, that uh, wasn't a butt lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pussy shit. <laughs> uh, before we get uh, into the big report, we have some news. But Trevor in the chat room was going to be on the show tonight, but uh, he's a little nasally today. Oh. Remnants oh. of a cold or too much cocaine. <laughs> Hell of a drug. Cocaine. Uh, so he actually wrote a report for me. To read out is uh, highly intelligent because unlike the rest of us, he pays attention to baseball. Oh, right. right. But before we get to that, uh, I try to, but I fall asleep. Right. <laughs> There's too many more exciting things going on. <laughs> my fingers in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Red Sox manager. Spe- hey, speaking of uh, spread by butt, John Farrell has Hodgkin lymphoma. Oh my god. Yeah. Is uh, spread by butt. <laughs> well, we're talking about uh, Flip Saunders. <laughs> That's worse if it's a basketball coach. Cause he's just, yeah, because he's just a baseball manager. So. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> he doesn't really do anything. Yeah. <laughs> he gets on that little phone and then uh, yeah, calls put, the bullpen. Hits one of his yeah. hands, and <laughs> somebody that pitches with that hand comes out. And, oh, calls the bullpen. Where's my damn pizza? I ordered it a half hour ago. Yeah, the only difference is Flip Saunders, real man, says yeah. he's going to uh, continue coaching. See? Oh, shit. John Farrell says uh, taking the season off. Yeah, yeah, because it's too hard to pencil in with the starting oh, yeah. lineup right. and which pitcher's going next. Yeah, got to decide uh, three of your four outfielders. You can't wave <laughs> in the closer. Right. Like the chemo. Oh, my lymphoma, guys. Right. The chemo will really damage that waving mm-hmm. hand, you know. Hard to pick up that phone, the bat phone. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, the Yankees pitcher, rookie Brian Mitchell, hit by a line drive today, Monday, uh, right in the fucking face. Oh, Smacking shit. Face. It, was, it was rough. We'll be tweeting that out to you guys at the Charity Strick. No E at the end, uh, the video of that. It was pretty pretty gnarly. He got hit in the face, couldn't get that glove up in time, and uh, went down. They came over with the towel. He came up with a towel over his face. But you could see a couple of drips just like immediately oh, come okay. off. Yeah, it oh, was, no. It Before we came.